lawful estate of matrimony. Marriage is one of the oldest and longest institutions that is known to mankind, and one that is not therefore to be entered into without taking into account the serious commitment that you make to each other for the remainder of your lives. And I'll charge you both as you stand here to remember that true love and faithful observance of your marriage vows are the most essential ingredients to the establishment of a long and a lasting marriage, and to the foundation of an enduring and a happy home. Without these, there can be no real marriage, and the home that you'd endeavor to establish would only be in vain. So keep the solemn vows you're about to make. Learn to love each other deeply, and if you can do that, your marriage will last and endure the test of time. Martin, do you take the woman at your side to be your wedded wife? promise in the presence of this company that you will love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and that forsaking all others for her alone, will you perform unto her all of the duties and give her the respect that a husband owes his wife until by death you are separated? We should never. Isabel, do you take the man at your side to be your husband? We should never promise in the presence of these witnesses that you will love him, comfort him, honor and cherish him in sickness and in health, and that forsaking all others for him alone, will you perform unto him all of the duties and give him the respect that a wife owes her husband until by death you are separated. You. Would you please turn and face each other and repeat after me to one another the marriage vow. I, Martin, I, Martin, take you, Isabel, take you, Isabel, to be my wedded wife, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better or for worse, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, and in sickness and in health, and to love and to cherish, and to love and to cherish, until death do us part, until death do us part. I, Isabella. Isabel. Take thee, Martin, Take thee, Martin. To, be my husband. to be my husband, to have and to hold, to and to hold. from this day forward, from this day forward. For, better for, for, better for, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, for richer or for poorer. In, sickness in, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish. Until, death do us part. until death do us part. Have you a ring? The wedding ring is an outward and visible sign that signifies to all others the uniting 
of the two of you in wedlock. Take the ring, please, Martin, you select for Isabel, and place it upon her finger. And repeat after me, with this ring. With this ring. I be wed. I be wed. And Isabel, please take the ring you selected for Martin, place it upon his finger. And repeat after me, with this ring. With this ring. I be wed. By that power which is vested in me by the state of Nevada as an ordained minister of the gospel, it now becomes my duty, privilege, and indeed affords me a great deal of pleasure to pronounce that you are husband and wife. You may kiss your bride, sir. Baby, I need you. 